Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're discussing the rep ranges for muscular endurance. And so in our previous two videos, we talked about strength and we talked about hypertrophy. We talked about building muscle. In those, in my strength range, do you remember your strength range? About one to six reps of challenging reps in a set. And then if I'm trying to get some more muscle hypertrophy, I'm usually gonna get into more of a six to 12 rep range, though that's kind of fluid, as long as I'm really pushing myself and as long as my body isn't already really good at it. Um, then I can continue to build up, I can continue to adapt and build up my weaknesses and then build muscle upon that in those ranges. Now, if we're looking for how many reps can I do in a row, then we start to get into this muscular endurance kind of thing. And so if I, if I look at it from the perspective of a gym, right? Imagine two scenarios. Imagine doing 20 reps on your squat where you don't lock out at the top and you just come right back down, go right back up, right back down, right back up. <clears throat> that might take you a minute and your legs are going to burn a lot. Now, converse that. Let's look at another scenario. What if I do another 20 rep set of squats, but I'm allowed to stop and rest at the top, take a couple breaths if I need them and, you know, kind of re-equilibrate, re let some of the fatigue work its way out of the muscle. Now, those two scenarios are physiologically very, very different. If I can pause at the top, I'm going to be able to use a lot more weight, but I'm not going to get the same nauseating levels of fatigue. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of systemic fatigue, so it's still going to be nauseating and it's still going to be very, very challenging, especially if I do increase the weights, right? <clears throat> But if I'm looking for purely muscular endurance, I probably don't want to take that many rests between my reps, right? I want to challenge the ability for these muscles to continuously contract. I, you know, you can only see my shoulders, so I keep bench pressing for this. Um, also, it's more fun to bench press, right? Something like that. But my, you know, general rule here is anything above 12 reps. OK, that's kind of the accepted rep range for uh, muscular endurance. Now, you're going to hit a ceiling where you can't keep going anymore and you have to pause and then it becomes a different type of endurance, which we're going to talk about tomorrow. But in general, if I am really getting a lot of fatigue in the muscle, a lot of burn in the muscle. I could be, you know, you, you'll you feel that in your uh, hypertrophy ranges, like six to 12 reps, but you're also gonna feel that in your 12 plus kind of sets. So keep that in mind, make that kind of the goal here. If you're searching for muscular endurance, if you're doing a muscular endurance training block, you've got to do at least 10 reps, right? It depends on how trained you are. Like those, those rules are a little bit malleable, but you want to do at least 10 reps and you want to continuously move and you probably don't want to recover all the way either. But we've talked about that previously in our rest periods videos. Okay, that's all I got for you.